Hold your phone sideways. Even if you're looking at YouTube online, you know it puts the letterbox in. Here's usually the comments underneath it. Or if you full screen it, it makes you turn it sideways. Right? So work with that. Start here. All right. Fantastic call. So the first trick really is just hold your phone sideways. When we work with the digital cameras, when we're using our phones and digital cameras simultaneously to take footage, well, we always look at things in that panoramic. When we're, we go to the movies, the screen is wider than it is tall, right? And generally in human vision, we kind of have this sort of like oval shape. You can do this and see your peripherals, right? You know where your peripherals are. It's more wide than it is tall. And we don't really pay attention to the floor or the sky. That's why they're not very pretty looking, right? We pay attention to what's in front of us. Casinos use this actively. They make the floor and the ceiling hard to look at, hurt to look at. So you continue to look in this little band right here, and you can capture with your phone if you held the sideways. Second trick. I'm going to flip mine. Just looking the other way. So one of the things you get when you're holding your phone, even if you're sitting still, you're a dynamic thing. You are metal bones, calcium is metal, surrounded with water and carbon bags. That's what we're made of. We're wiggly. We're bouncy. All the time. Always. What can you do about it? Anybody? Oh, you got it. Put both hands on there. Right? Two points of contact. And how expensive was this thing? Do you really want to just hold it in one hand? Put both hands on there. All right. I mean, just, just that alone, the expense of it, you want to hold it with both hands. But this makes it so much, so much. Stay. Next, stand up. stand up. Let's say you are getting footage. You're getting some footage for uh, football practice, lacrosse team. You're going to take the, the class with Jim Forshee on actual sports journalism. He does that in the video, the video course. You're going to be taking footage down in the, uh, the stadium and then live casting a game. That's one of the courses we have here. You can take it. It's a great course. Jim Force is great. Grumpy old man. Love him. Love him to death. Right? When you're getting that footage, though, you're not going to be sitting. You'll be standing. You might have a shoulder mounted camera. You might be using your phone, because let's face it, the camera here is pretty good. It's not a piece of crap. These megapixels are doing it now. To get nice, steady footage, first of all, Right? You're all like this. You're easily swayed. Comfortable. Shoulder width, shoulder width apart. Slightly splayed out. You know, you want that good base. Next, don't lock your knees. Right? When you lock your knees, you're bouncy. You want to be able to sway. You stand on those bleachers. They have a little give. Okay? You need to be able to give a little bit too. Now, a lot of you are already doing the thing that's right here. Elbows in. Right? When something happens and you need to turn the phone, you do this. Yeah, core. Turn with your core. All right? Now, this is also true when we're using camcorders. Because the camcorder is going to have a screen on it, and you're going to be holding it like this. You don't have to have it up to your eye. So when you're holding that camcorder and you're getting the exact same sort of situation, a little bend of the knee. Get the elbows in, turn to the core. Use your body to its fullest. Sort of horse stance kind of thing going on, right? A little bit open, a little bit knee bend, a little bit of horse stance. 
You become the tripod. Right? If you want even better footage, even more stable, we have another thing we can do. Walk over to something that's solid. Try the walls, try the doorways, do it right now. Get over to the walls of the doorway, stand in. There's not enough room right. on that wall. Okay. When you are taking foot footage from this position, the thing you want is you want one foot up against the solid object. You want your shoulder into that solid object. You want the other foot out. Doorways are great because you can really get into it and you're totally out of it. I could be here and I can get this entire area and I can roll on my shoulder. This makes the footage much more stable. I'm creating three points of contact. Foot, foot, shoulder. The strongest shape in nature is the triangle. I'm allowing my body to use nature's normal design to help me get my job done. To help me get good footage. I don't have a tripod. I become the tripod. I become the tripod. Huh? Huh? Huh. Great. Works out quite well. Next. Quick, back to your seat. There's no tall thing. Dover could park a stadium there. And park here, you know. You're at the stairs, outside, wherever. And they don't have that wall, they have that half wall. Right? Or you're in here and you're taking footage of a professor's lecture. Like you are right now. Again, you want that stable platform because the shape of this will make you sick. Even with the steady cam function of this and YouTube, YouTube has an anti shape as well. It still it gets that kind of weird graininess to it. Create a tripod. Chest. Elbow, elbow. Grab. My sternum is pushing against the edge of the desk. Recreate that right now. Three points of contact. Right? You will notice that your footage is very stable. Right? You can get a good clear view. I, I was a, a TA for the uh, the weight training class at Binghamton University when I was an undergrad. I used to have to take notes, like crazy amounts of notes and stuff. I didn't have a smartphone. I was taking notes for people who had ADA disabilities. I was getting paid for it too by the school. In fact, I can still see that in my paycheck. If I had a smartphone at that time, I could have just sat at the back table, where any of you in the back row there, held the phone. Because let's face it, it's a weight training class. We, we had 10, 20 minutes, a bunch of notes, a couple extra uh, like demonstrations, and then we'd get up and go to the weight training room. Right? If I had my phone then, I wouldn't have had to take in all those damn notes. Can't cramps. Have to draw the demonstrations into the notebook. Then photocopy that and give that to the people who needed it. Right. That you can do that too. And SUNY actually does employ you to do that, by the way. You know that, right? You can be making money right now going to your normal classes. And that will help you and the person who needs it so much more than handwritten notes. Making a tripod, being stable. That's really important. Now those are the five tips. There's like two things that are also very important. I can't quite show you in here correctly, but they're light and they're sound. The lights in here are good. If you're outside, the sun can wash you out. This class is at seven o'clock at night, and I pretty much can't do anything out there to show it. It's unfortunate, but you don't get the wash out effect. But it can happen if you have a particularly badly lit room or one of the big lecture halls and the teacher turns like half the lights off and they walk through it, you'll notice like your phone will try to adjust to that light. You can find in the settings, it's the auto balance, AB. You can turn that off. Turning off auto balance 
It will always be either always dark or always light. But at least it's stable and you know, throughout the entire thing. So that light balance, you need to be able to deal with that. The other is, I'm walking around. And I can be walking back here and going back to the room. And then all of a sudden, you guys back here who are not getting any good audio on me are getting great audio. But you guys up at the front, you're like this, right back here. Hey, guys, hear about it. Not much. Sorry. But it is something you need to be aware of. Maybe you got to ask a teacher to speak up. When you speak up, I'm taking this video for the uh, Students with Disabilities um, uh, section of the ADA compliance course. Right? That kind of stuff. In ours, and this stuff, we don't have to worry too much about sound until we get to about here. And this one. And we're not really going to play with it. If this is a really fun class for you. You really enjoy it. Take the next level. It's in sport management. And you get to play with boom mics. It's great. In this one, we will play with lighting effects. We will get out some of the, uh, the spotlights, some of the fun little key lights and whatnot that really will make strange shadows. You'll get to see that. All right, cool. Done.